Hey guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you five things to check over on your mower before you take it home from the store or the dealership. So let's get started. All right, guys, so first of all, let's talk about the backstory and why I felt like this topic was important. And first of all, that reason is that mowers can be bought on many different levels, meaning that you can buy them from the big box stores such as Lowe's and Home Depot, Walmart, places like that, or they can be bought at your local hardware store, maybe your local um, ranch and feed store, and also at the dealership level. But one thing you have to keep in mind is that when these mowers come in, there is assembly that's required when they come in. Most come in in a shipping crate, uh, some maybe in a box, and they have to be put together. So the thing you have to think about is, are these things being done correctly when they're being assembled? Um, are they being taken care of? Is the person that is assembling these mowers doing all those things that need to be done and doing them correctly? So that's why I'm gonna give you the five things that you should always check before taking your mower home. And first one is gonna start with checking the hour meter. So most mowers that we buy today are going to have an hour meter. So you have a reminder system of when you need to perform service on your machine. But it's also very important that we're looking for this before we take our mower home to see just how many hours is on that mower. Now, we would like to think that when we buy these mowers, they're gonna have zero hours on them, but you have to consider the fact that the mower, you know, has been moved into the shop, it's been ran to make sure everything runs right, and also moved out to wherever this mower is being displayed at the store or the hardware store or even at the dealership. So there is gonna be a slight amount of hours on there. What you need to look for is if there is, um, you know, maybe two to three hours. Um, maybe we need to think about, was this mower possibly demoed? Was it maybe used there at the location to do some light trim work? Um, just to see what this mower maybe has been used for. And if you notice that there are some hours on it, the other thing that I would check is to make sure that your blades are still in that new condition. Second thing you should always check is going to be your engine oil. Now these mowers are coming in, a lot of the time the engine oil is already in them, that way they can be you know, maybe moved off the truck and onto um, the loading docks or wherever these are being unloaded. But like I said, some do come in crates and boxes. So somebody, depending on where you bought the mower, has had to put engine oil in it to get it started. So you have to think this is your mower, it's brand new to you. So the one thing that you wanna check is, did that person that was taking care of this mower before I'm buying it, get the right engine oil level. So, you know, good thing to be was just while you're there at the store, the dealership, wherever you're at, go ahead and pull that dipstick, wipe it off, check the engine oil level to make sure that's good. So you're not getting home with a mower that hasn't had the engine serviced. Third thing is going to be tire pressure. Now I know that this may seem like a very tedious, um, very minuscule thing. But we have to keep in mind that tire pressure plays a big factor in the cut quality on your mowers. So if your tires are not aired up to spec, you might get that uneven cut. Let's say that our right front is lower than it should be. Well, more weight is going to be pushing down on that right front, causing an unlevel cut. Now the tire pressure is supposed to be a checkpoint on the setup when these mowers come in is whenever they're in those shipping crates or maybe those boxes, a lot of time tire pressure is deflated so they'll fit better uh, in the unit that they're trying to sit in. But make sure to just go ahead and take that tire gauge with you, bust out that operator manual that should be with the mower and check those tire pressures or ask whoever's there that service the mowers to go ahead and check those for you before you take the mower home. So fourth thing is gonna go right hand in hand with our tire pressure, and it's going to be making sure that our deck is level. Now, one complaint that I hear often from people um, is that they got their new mower home and it just didn't cut right. It was leaving a ridge. Um, it looked like something was unlevel. They thought maybe one of their blades was bent, all these different things. And most of the time, what keys into that is the fact that these decks are not leveled correctly. Now. One thing to keep in mind here is that when these are done at the dealership level, most of the time you have a technician that is trained in doing these, these things and knows the uh, precise process of making sure and getting this deck level before you take that home. But on the other hand of that, things to consider is when these show up to the big box stores um, or maybe that local hardware store, the person that's setting these up might not know exactly the process of getting this done, so it may not be 
done correctly. So it's a good idea to go ahead and check that or like I said before, to go ahead and ask the person that services these mowers to check that for you uh, and to make sure that this is done correctly because there's nothing more frustrating than getting your mower home and you're ready to mow and you mow those first couple strips and that grass doesn't quite look like what you expected it to look like. So make sure to check that as your fourth thing. So fifth and final thing is gonna be one that is a little tough to check, but guys, it's very important for the safety of yourself and others that may be around while you're mowing. When these mowers come in, most of the time the decks are already assembled, the blades are already on, they just need to be adjusted and tweaked to make sure they're cutting right. But one thing you need to keep in mind is checking the torque on your blades. All of these decks come with a torque specification in the operator manual to tell you what those blades should be torqued down at. Now I know a lot of the time the assumption is, oh when I change my blades, you know, just pop them off with the impact or the wrench and pop them back on and make sure they're tight. But what you have to consider is that these blades are moving at very, very high speeds and therefore that torque specification is on there for your safety. So one thing you might do is ask that service department or the people that set these mowers up before you get them to check and make sure that those blades are torqued to spec just to ensure that safety of you and those around you whenever you're using this mower. That was the five things you should always, always check before taking your new mower home. Now, keep in mind that these things don't only apply to the John Deere mowers or the Husqvarna mowers or the Big Dog mowers or whatever brands you may have around at your stores. These are things that you should check on any mower no matter where you're getting them from and what level. Um, but the thing you have to keep in consideration is that we're not always sure who exactly is doing the setup process of these, who's doing that assembly, is all of these mowers are going to come in with somewhat of assembly that needs to be done or a checklist of things that needs to be done, like checking that tire pressure, leveling that deck, checking the oil level. And at not all levels do you have a certified technician like you do at the dealership level to check all of these things. Now that also doesn't mean that at every dealership level all of these things are going to be perfect. So you do need to go ahead and check those things no matter where you're buying your mower. So guys, I hope that this video is helpful for you. Hope you like this video. If so, make sure to hit that like button and give me a subscribe as that helps me out as well. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and go buy your parts at west-equip.com parts.